Stricken by drought and depleted upstream dams, Iraq's once mighty rivers, the Tigris and the Euphrates, are choking under pollutants from sewage to medical waste. In Iraq, half the population lacks access to safe drinking water. And according to the UN figures, state institutions are to blame for a man-made disaster, which is turning rivers into waste dumps. Residents of Iraq's holy city of Najaf are voicing concerns over the shortage of natural clean water in the city. Experts say much of the water supply is contaminated through sewage and contains heavy metals that can cause diseases. When samples of this water were taken and analyzed in the laboratory, it was found that high concentrations of dangerous elements and compounds, lead, zinc, cadmium, iron, copper, etc., were higher than the internationally permissible limits. In addition, when samples of this water were taken and analyzed microbiologically, there were a large number of bacteria, the most prominent of which was E. coli bacteria. In addition to bacteria of different types, even cholera has been diagnosed in some locations due to the presence of cholera. Dirty and unsafe water is a prime health threat in Iraq, where decades of conflict, mismanagement and corruption have taken a toll on infrastructure, including the water system. Petrochemical factories, power plants and agricultural drainage that carries fertilizers and other toxins further pollute Iraq's water. Most of these diseases are caused by these sewers. These sewers are not new. We have had this for four to five and six years. Even the animals became sick. The river bank is clean but waste and dirt have begun to be thrown into this river. The Kufa River. Now, while many residents have resorted to buying clean water from the markets, some of the city's water is getting treated at filtering water stations. This is where the polluted river water is first filtered before being treated with chemicals like chlorine to kill the harmful bacteria. Such water stations are helping turn the tide. But the battle to clean up the city's water supplies and drastically reduce such pollution continues. The government has said that it no longer approves projects that could be a source of pollution unless they provide water treatment. It has developed a three-year plan to strengthen the water and sanitation system to provide safe drinking water, especially to the most vulnerable communities. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.